So Hillary Clinton is doing her book tour for her shitty memoir called What Happened um, that's supposed to outline what happened in the 2016 election where she dropped the ball against President Donald Trump, Mr. Trump, fascist Don, if you don't know him. Um, but I guess she did some kind of interview with Vox's Ezra Klein. I believe he's the founder, if I'm not incorrect. But this is something that's very interesting because she's basically going to admit here that both her and President Obama were massively corrupted and compromised on their progressive ideals due to uh, corporate interests and donors so she's basically admitting it here um so let's get into it so here's what hillary says so she says um i tell people out all the time if you're a, in a high income tax bracket i want to tax you if you still want to give me money you are going with your going in with your eyes open i think it's theoretically an interesting conversation but you look at somebody like president obama who took a lot of money from a lot of different interests but it didn't affect how he governed and so let's get to the second level here. And then Ezra Klein responds. He says, I do think that's strong, though, to say that it didn't affect how he governed. A lot of people feel he could have done more to punish bankers. On healthcare, there were deals cut before the fact with the pharmaceutical industry, with the insurance industry. And I think there's evidence that these kinds of donations do give these interests more of a voice. And that does affect things, certainly in the details. And then Hillary Clinton responds, well, but you know, it's always been thus. I mean, if you've seen the musical ha Hamilton, you know if you're running a raucous. I don't know what that last part's about. But um, anyways, I know what Hamilton is. I don't know what the fuck the reference was. But anyways, so she literally just admitted there that all the, de the corporate Democrats are massively compromised in their progressive ideals. Massively compromised. Um, anyways, so let's, let's break this down here because, you know, she starts out. And by the way, props to Ezra Klein for saying this. Because he's not, he's a, he's kind of a more neoliberal type guy to himself. So I give him a lot of credit here. But the idea that she tells people when she's specifically talking to these rich people in a room that she's going to raise their t top bracket, wrong. That's false. There's no evidence to prove such. We've had all the, all the, um, the speeches that we have access to prove nothing of the sorts. Um, and also, you know, she says that, you know, you look at President Obama. You know, that, that's totally false. I mean, that's probably one of the falsest things I've ever seen. I think that that massively compromised his um, his campaign, uh, not his campaign, sorry, his presidency, especially with things like the Affordable Care Act and Obamacare and such like that. And it just was very hurtful for his campaign, for his presidency and many different things he did. There was, you know, the video that resurfaced with um, Anthony Scaramucci, the mooch, and Obama, or Obama said, you know, many people thought that I went too soft on Wall Street. And I definitely agree. He didn't prosecute anybody. And then, you know, he, she responds saying, well, it's always been like this, admitting that her and Obama are massively corrupt. Support independent progressive media by leaving a subscription down below. Leave a like and share the video. Help us out on Patreon or you can donate in other ways. Links are in the description down below. We are fighting Trump tooth and nail and we will continue to do so with your help.